Um, Bosisi Bevilagazi for the Joburg East Express. We are here at the National Book Fair at the Constitutional Hill and we have a crew that has this amazing app uh, that is encouraging uh, kids to read. So we are with the Funza crew. Uh, can you tell us about uh, your app? When did you guys started it? Okay, so uh, my name is Ndibode Lesotonoche, firstly, um, from Funza Literacy Trust. We are based in Cape Town. Funza Literacy Trust is an organization that promotes reading for pleasure. We actually established in 2011. Um, the reason was the fact that we have very low you know, literacy levels in, in, in SA, which are with only 14% of people who are you know, active readers. So we're aiming to, to change that statistic. So we've been operational since 2011, and we have about 100 uh, beneficiaries all over the country that we give books to. Um, talking about the app, we thought, okay, if kids are always on their phones, then why don't we try to bring that content you know, into their phones? I mean, when they're washing dishes, they're on their phones. When they're going to the youth, then on the phones, you know, even at school at times they're on their phones. So we thought, okay, why not just, you know, bring that content into the space that they, you know, they add. So um, we have a, an app uh, called um, phones.mobi, which is um, a very, you know, interactive app with um, stories from different, you know, um, categories that you can read on. We have children's stories, we have professional content, and also takes, um, you know, some work from from the general public and give them a platform to actually get published in, you know. Um, so, and we, we it's also a quite, um, you know, a, a nice app because you can give instant feedback to the writers as well, you know, that, you know, they, they're able to, prep, you know, to track the popularity of their own stories. We can log in, you know, drop comments, we can like the story and even tell the author if you don't like their story at all, you see. So it's a very interactive app for that matter. We're also running a few things that are, you know, outside of the indigenous space, you know, we're also trying to uplift the community as well by uh, by providing them free courses, you know, from grammar, class, um, um, stuff that they, they can do to verbs and so forth, you know, they, they can also get some you know, work tips on, on work-wise, you know, it's a basically a blog that gets people ready for, you know, for, for the workspace, how to connect yourself in a professional setup and so forth. So uh, it's a very uh, interactive app that can be read for free on Moya Messenger as well. So you can find us there under the category um, education. So you just go to discover education and then phones will be one of the apps that are featured there, which means you can read stories for free without having to worry about any any you know data charges whatsoever and also recently as we just spoke inside we've introduced uh, a whatsapp we have a number there that you can actually you know get stories on whatsapp as well um, so it's basically a way of changing you know we're moving with the times basically you know everything is going digital now so we thought okay if the world is going that direction so why not you know just move with the times as well you know it just try to work hard to improve the, the, the written statistics that are so low in SA. Mm, wow. And then in terms of being here this weekend, what do you guys hope to achieve as FUNZA? Uh, my name is Luka Nyoma Chabelele. I'm from FUNZA. Uh, this week uh, we've been uh, to six provinces uh, with national, celebrating the National Book Week. Uh, we've been promoting uh, the, uh, the importance of reading and creative writing among things things because uh, we've noticed uh, there are kids out there who love writing some write poems and essays and stuff that they don't know what to do with their work mm -hmm. so we are there for that they can send their work to us and then we can publish that work for free free of charge but they don't get paid uh, so yeah we've been here promoting the importance of writing because we want to be a, an educated society Mm -hmm. And would you say that kids are embracing the app and are really using it? Yes, they are, because uh, we've noticed that most of them uh, didn't know about uh, the phones, about us, because we are based in Cape Town, so we are not there. So when they knew that they can get this kind of information, they were excited, especially when they knew that they can get it uh, as easy as uh, saying hello on a WhatsApp and then you get all the content that you want and then you select the content that you want. So I remember one of them uh, even said that they are happy to have this uh, this kind of this, this, uh, getting stories on WhatsApp. 
so that they know that even when they are chatting, that they can do other positive things other than chatting with friends and, and stuff. Oh, wow. And then in terms of using the app, how user-friendly is it? Um, hi, my name is Asita Nerechula, I'm also from Gondo. So the app is very user-friendly and we are on different platforms which are also mobile-friendly and user-friendly. First of all, we have the web which is Fonza.mobi, it's F-U-N-T-Z. A dot mobile. and the second one is the WhatsApp, which you can send to zero six zero man zero six zero, and <laughs> and we also are on Moya app. Like he explained, you just go to the Moya app, discover education, and from there it's very interactive. You can log in um, to comment and like. You can also register for the courses you want to to improve yourself as a person. And the WhatsApp number is. Zero 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 double zero six double zero five four eight six seven six. So you can just say hello and you and you follow the menu prompts. So it's easy like that.